Hi, I'm Stephanie Sandifer, and today I have Anna Grantham here with Farm to Treat in Fairhope, right in the middle of downtown Fairhope. And I wanted to take the opportunity to show you about this amazing business that she has and concept that's so unusual to Fairhope and especially our area. So thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you for having me. I've been so interested in everything that was in your your uh, business today, and I've been asking so many questions. So I was hoping that you could answer some questions. For yeah, for us. sure. So. How long have you been in business? Um, I started in May of 2020. Mm -hmm. yep. So, and then the shop has been open for a week. Um, last, so last Friday it opened. Congratulations! Up. Yeah, thank you. Congratulations! And I saw that you have something, an event that's coming up. Yes. So the um, hey, good morning. Good morning. Good. Um, I am hosting a scavenger hunt. It's going to be across um, downtown Fairhope. Okay. So there were 15 spots. It is booked up, but I'm hoping to do it um, at least once a month. But twice a month would be awesome. Basically, I'm going to have little deposits of treats scattered across Fairhope and uh, lids with totes. And you'll have a map to go by and you'll pick up a bag of treats from each little station. Okay. And then your in place will be the um, Farm to Treat Shop. And your dog will have a like miniature customized bunt cake with their name on it ready for them. So they can come by and snack while you shop or just mingle or it can be socially distanced if mm -hmm. you, uh, you know, you just want to walk with your dog and don't want it, you know. To be around anybody else or you can go with a group of friends i have several people that are um going with two or three other does it cost tip anything tips? to is. be in the scavenger it hunt? does so it's 25 dollars. Okay. that covers the cost of the treats and then the cake mm -hmm. um and next month uh, someone suggested that i do like a 40 dollar one and you get a t-shirt okay or um you know like a toy or something like that mm -hmm. so i may throw that in there also okay okay well i see that you've got these these are bombs? They are. So pond skin bombs. Um, the Hay Bulldog Bomb was the first topical product that I made. Okay. Um, because I'm a, I was studying, at the time I was studying canine herbalism, um, it was really important for me to incorporate organic, uh, fresh herbs into mm -hmm. the treats, but as well as topical products. Mm -hmm. So um, Hay Bulldog is made up of neem, calendula, arnica, and local beeswax. Um, all of those are antibacterial, antiseptic. Um, they're cooling, so they're going to um, reduce the heat and inflammation in like a really dry or yeasty area. Several dogs in our county and in our area, because of the heat, um, deal with hot spots. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily caused by heat, but mm -hmm. we do deal with a lot of hot spots in Baldwin County specifically. Um, and so that neem is going to cool the calendula, is soothing, and the arnica is pain relief. Mm -hmm. And then the beeswax um, coats the skin and protects it. Um, I really love using the local beeswax because it's going to support another small farmer. Um, and she, Kittrell's Daydream is the beeswax and honey and um, bee pollen that I use. She's one of our seven farm partners, so I really love incorporating her ingredients into So, as far as your process, mm -hmm. everybody's got a process. If you're an artist, you start with a canvas and, you know, right. mix the paint, maybe have a little secret ingredient before you apply the paint. Mm -hmm. So, what is your process? for making your specialty food. Right, so I have uh, seven farm partners that I go through. Mm -hmm. I try and contact them uh, bi-weekly and see what they have to offer. Mm -hmm. So instead of going and saying, um, you know, I need these specific things. Sometimes I do that, but a lot of times I like to say, what do you have to offer? My whole system, I want to be zero waste. So getting the discarded parts that they mm -hmm. would normally not be able to sell and picking those up and turning them into dog treats. Um, so after I have collected the proteins or vegetables or even the honey from the different farmers, um, it's turned, <clears throat> excuse me, it's turned into a treat within 72 hours. Wow. Excuse me. Um, I like to make it as fresh as possible, so I, I don't really store much of anything unless it's for my personal dogs. Mm -hmm. So it is purchased. Um, most of my products are dehydrated so that they keep that nutritional um, analysis there. A lot of different meats and um, vegetables and supplements, when they're baked out, most of the nutrition goes with it. So I dehydrate typically under 150 degrees for a long period of time. Now it goes onto the shelf of the store, but then it was going to all the different retailers and to different markets and things. So um, I start with my jerky products first. They take the longest. Milk chews take the second longest, so that's fresh goat milk. 
as a base and then different um, vegetables and things. They take the second longest, so they go in the dehydrator next. And then my bakery treats are typically made 24 hours before they're sold. And I think that's what I got from Hampton last week. It was for a little sure. bag, mm -hmm. a little cute, a little bow on it and your label Oh, on yeah, it. for sure. So where, where are all the retail locations that you do have your treats? Oh, for sure. So um, the Fairhope Health Food Store, mm -hmm. Virginia's Health Foods in Mobile, okay. um, Sugar House Bakery. Down on ben, it's uh, down on Bancroft, okay. right beside Refuge okay. Coffee House. Uh, the Fair Oak Pharmacy, starting this week. Mm -hmm. um, Bell Shane Kennels carries a few products, and um, hopefully I'll have it in a couple of coffee shops. And they have they're pet friendly, so a few mm -hmm. coffee shops. Oh, and Vitality Works in Daphne. She is a yoga studio, but she also does. Um, she's a dog trainer okay. and uh, I think she does doggy daycare as well so she's it's really, really awesome yeah it's over on uh, 181 so she carries my products as okay. well I have to look that one up so I wanted to show them these little treats and you could tell them this looks like a little quiche too. it is yeah this is so cute so how did you make this one did you dehydrate the sardines that are in it I did so um, the base of that is nutritional yeast, which is packed with B vitamins. Um, it also has a really great flavor. So mm -hmm. it is nutritional yeast and goat uh, ghee. Mm -hmm. And then it's quail eggs with raw goat milk, uh, fennel, and then the anchovies mm -hmm. on, the, on the side. Um, this one has the same concept, no fennel, but it has pork stomach. Mm -hmm. And See. These are just the plain um, goat milk and quail. So these are some of the specialty baked treats. I don't sell these through retail locations. They're only sold through markets in the shop because okay. there's no preservatives. So they have mm -hmm. to be sold within you know 48 hours or consumed within 48 hours. So um, I make them and then sell them instantly. I have some wonderful customers, and if for some reason I don't sell out, they're like just bring it all to me just just drop it off by my house so I'll deliver sometimes a box of you know leftovers to them and I think they must freeze them or something to give them to all their dogs do you have a price what, what is this one so that is like a donut. The, it is mm -hmm. so it's an apple pie donut I make a fresh apple sauce the apples of course aren't grown around here that's one of the apples and bananas are two products I use that aren't grown in Baldwin County mm -hmm. um, but I make a fresh apple sauce with apple cider vinegar and then the Kitchell's daydream honey this has, all of my bakery items are flourless now. Um, that was a big, it wasn't a problem for me, but because I wanted 100% of the ingredients to offer a benefit, mm -hmm. flour isn't toxic, but it also doesn't do anything nutritionally. So this is a base of uh, butternut squash, the uh, applesauce, raw goat milk, and apple cider vinegar, and the honey. Um, and then these are, those are so cute. <laughs> so this is a mint chocolate chip, and a liver chip. This one's butternut squash with um, rabbit liver chips. I make rabbit liver with pumpkin seeds and rabbit liver. And then um, pop them into the cookies before they're done baking. Mm -hmm. And then these are carob chips. There's a little dog walking mm -hmm. by right now. Fairhope is a great spot to walk your dog. These are beef tendons. So a lot of people are turned off by looking at <laughs> by looking at some of the jerky that I offer because you can kind of tell what it might be or you may mm -hmm. question what it might be. So um, these are my, some of my long lasting chews. If you use a Nyla bone, um, instead of it being artificial, this is almost like that. I mean, I couldn't break this How if I wanted to. How long does this last? Because I know that you think mm -hmm. that, like, for example, my puppy beagle, mm -hmm. we have to get the, what they call bully sticks. Oh, for sure. Because he can go through one in an yeah. hour. So how long does that typically last? So I, my two dogs, um, one of them is a super aggressive chewer mm -hmm. and the other one, you know, he might work on it for a little bit, but then he'll kind of bypass mm -hmm. it for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, the aggressive chewer, if I let him just have this, it would probably be gone in about 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something okay. like that. Um, it's super solid. This is my longest lasting chew. Okay. And the, what did you say this is made out of? Uh, beef tendon. Beef tendon. This okay. is also made from the um, beef tendon as well. So this one would probably go in about 15, 20 minutes, but still. You have to stick with these. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so can you buy, are those special order or can you um, buy them? So right now you could special order them. A lot of my products, uh, my website launched in January of this okay. year before the shop was even thought. I didn't think I was going to have a shop yet. Mm -hmm. So I was really pushing everything onto the website so you could order it there. 
um, but now that's kind of been on the back burner and I have to start incorporating things uh, in the shop onto the website. Mm -hmm. So what is your website? It is farmtotreat.com. Okay. Um, if you, there's three different categories. So you can look up uh, products that are sold in retail locations. Mm -hmm. You can find products that are sold online. So for shipping and then products sold in the um, markets or at the shop. So, okay. you know, you pick your location basically. If you do, you know, you maybe you're socially distancing or you just don't want to come out to the shop, I do offer free delivery to Fairhope and Daphne. So you can order online, but then waive that $6 shipping fee and I'll deliver it to you. Okay. So as far as your website goes, mm -hmm. you know, I put everything on my website, which then I put out on social media and you'll get your own little oh, page, perfect. little blog about it. Uh, I did want to also mention your little celebrity. <laughs> Was this last month's? It, uh, this is this, this month. This month. Mm -hmm. um, Anna was in this month's Access Magazine, and she has an article about her, and it talks about. Does it talk about where you're from? It um, a little like bit. I don't know if it says um, too much about that. It's mainly about the nutritionist program and the okay. herbalism program. Okay. Where are you originally from? I'm from a little town in North Alabama called Spring Garden. I do not know where that is, you, but I'm learning. Most people, there's maybe 600 people in okay. the little, it's a, it, I mean, there's a post office and a gas station, mm -hmm. and that's it. And then the city, if you want to, or I call it a, a town, you know, you're looking at maybe 2,500 people, 3,000 mm -hmm. people, something like that. So moving down here was glorious because there's more than one grocery store to choose from. <laughs> um, you know the towns where they say you only have one red light? That's right. That's, How long have you lived here? Um, I've been here for five years. Okay, five years. And you have your daughter I do. in Fairhope schools? Yes, ma'am. Okay. She is. We, um, it's very convenient. She goes to the school right next to the shop, so that's really that's nice. So nice. I saw a picture of her. You did? She was yeah. helping you. She does a shop. lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. she gets, she doesn't necessarily get an allowance. She gets paid, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't call child labor on me. No. But, um, <laughs> but all the treat bags that Hampton yes. has, she bags and ties those up um, my mom does help with that also and then um, at every single market she handles the register so at, at for a time we were homeschooling so it was super great because we would skip math for that day and she would spend six hours running Wait, numbers mom, on my, mom, on my that's register practical math. That's, mm -hmm. wonderful. that's the only math I know how to do right? so <laughs> that's the best part <laughs> how old is she she's 10 10 okay that's mm -hmm. a good age oh learn. for sure she loves it mm -hmm. and she loves I mean of course seeing all the the dogs that come up um, but she's like a sponge and she just she knows a good majority of what I learned in, in class and so you just ask her questions and she's telling you everything for me so usually she has her own table with her favorite things to sell you know and then right in front of me so that's always so fun cute so now she's back in regular school she is so during the day I know when I spoke with you, you you're not just at the shop all the time what are you doing I'm not so um, I, I did have three other part-time jobs, but I'm kind of weaning those out. Mm -hmm. um, I do still have one a couple of days a week, um, but when I'm not at the shop, I am um, either baking or mm -hmm. going, you know, traveling to go to the farmers to source products or making my own dog's food, which mm -hmm. takes a while. Um, and then, of course, being the only employee, social media takes up a massive amount of time that I don't even like to admit. But uh, so marketing, social media, emails, all those good things. And I love doing all those things, but. People don't realize behind the scenes how long yeah. that takes. Gosh, I know. Well, I probably wouldn't make any money if it wasn't for Facebook or Instagram because that's where people mm -hmm. shop these days. They mm -hmm. don't go to just Google or anything. So you have to stay consistent on those platforms most of the day to get an engagement with right. anybody. When is your next? event at the farmers market here at Fairhope? Um, so this Thursday. Okay. It's every Thursday. I think it's 16 weeks this time. Normally it's eight weeks. Mm -hmm. So from three to six behind the library. That's great. I am going to have um, one employee. She's going to be working markets for me. So okay. um, that will be really fun. She might be up there this week. Um, what and is then, her name? Well, her name is Amanda. Okay. And I, She's um, 17 years old, and so I've still got to talk to her mom about it. But I'm hoping that um, I'm hoping that she'll come on and, and enjoy working, you know, three or four hours a week just to do markets. Well, if by chance that does not work mm -hmm. out, I have um, three children, two are teenagers, so oh, I might that, be able. Oh, yeah, that would be perfect. Because I have, especially one that really likes animals. Oh, so for sure. If you, if you need some extra help, I'm sure that we can. Yeah, that would be yes. great. Uh, the last video, I guess it was two videos ago. Mm -hmm. um, 
there was somebody that does an organizational video, mm -hmm. Paige Stewart. Okay. And I was talking about my oldest, mm -hmm. who has some football player friends, and he's on the team, and mm -hmm. they move furniture. Well, then I actually got a call somebody that wants him to help her move furniture. Oh, so that's perfect. People actually watch these videos and that's see wonderful. everything that's in it. Yeah, I love that. Um, so with the time that we have, I wanted you to show them this oh, cute yeah, little, for sure. little yep. picture. It says, so this was my mm -hmm. first slogan. Um, recipes developed or recipes formulated for canine wellness is my second slogan. But I love this because um, we love our dogs and we want what's best for them just almost as much as we want the best for our kids. Mm -hmm. So. Um, one of my main goals is teaching people about what goes into their dog's food and even if it's just one little change what you can do to enhance their their meals which enhances everything else just like it does for us what we eat is you know our longevity so um, learning more about uh, your dog's wellness and nutrition I think will help a lot of people and a lot of people are interested in it so um, yeah I'm really excited about that education and um, keeping up with my education. So I just enrolled in the Academy of Natural Sciences for their canine nutrition program. Um, and that's gonna be another certification that I can tack on to, um, I just wanna keep going with it and keep keep learning because there's so much that no, you know, we all don't know about canines and what they really right. need. So learning as much as I can so that I can help other people will be a lot of fun, I think. I think it's been really interesting mm -hmm. getting Hampton Brooks and then he said, Oh, for to sure. Talk to you, yeah. and now you're talking about someone that has a yoga business, but also a doggy training business. Which yeah. I'm going to contact them and see if they. Would oh like yeah, she's awesome. Her name's Kate. Okay, mm -hmm. interviewed as well. Was well, there anything else that you'd like to tell everybody about your business? And like I said, I mm -hmm. post it all on the, my website, which turns around and goes back onto social media and YouTube. Is okay. there anything else That's you'd perfect. like to tell them about your business? Yeah. So at the end of this month, I will be taking consultations for. Um, canine nutrition. Mm -hmm. So I'll have three different styles of programs. You can bring your dog dog's food to me and I'll kind of pick through and see where the nutritional nutritional dips are and where mm -hmm. we can fill those in. Or um, I can formulate a recipe for you to make for yourself if you're interested in making homemade dog food. Or just kibble toppers, so enhancing your dog's kibble and you can make it yourself. Or um, formulating a recipe and then making it, you know, creating it and then selling it to you. So there'll be three different styles of um, dietary options to choose from. I'm hoping to have some clinicals going on to where you can come in and it'll be like a three to four week program and just learn a little bit about specific areas that you might be interested in. So I'm really passionate about allergies and skin problems and diet. Those are my three three things and they all, they all feed into each other. So completely because you go to PetSmart mm -hmm. and you don't know what to buy. Right. There's so many times where it we go in there, we have five different kinds of spray for our dogs. Right. And, you know, five different um, lotions to put on after the oh, yeah. bath. And a lot of times we just end up using Dawn, which probably is not the right. best thing, but you just don't know. So we right. need someone like you that is a professional yeah. that knows all about this. And I, I'll have two very good friends who are dog groomers. And mm -hmm. so that's also something I want to bring in and um, maybe not go into as much of grooming, but as just skin care, mm -hmm. which is fed through the gut, which is fed yes. through the diet. So it all, it just all intertwines with each other. So I'm really excited about um, the dog trainer friends that I have and learning about behavioral issues. Because so many people come to me for CBD, but it's a behavioral issue and CBD won't help with behavior. It helps mm -hmm. with neurological issues or you know, inflammation. So you need a dog trainer for that. And so I've made friendships with several wonderful dog trainers. And um, so I can kind of orchestrate that out as much as I need to as well. So interesting. Yeah. Well, Anna, thank you so much thank for you. meeting with me. And like I said, throughout this video, I will post everything about Anna's business. It should be hopefully later this week. I've gotten some other ones I need to put out as well. But thank you so much. And I'm looking forward to purchasing some items from you. In the yes, ma'am. Thank, thank you. you.